The world of Narnia returns to the big screen next month with Prince Caspian. Taken from the third book in the classic C.S. Lewis series, the lead actor this time round is the gorgeous Ben Barnes. The British newcomer who, despite a small role in last year's Stardust, has never actually acted in a large budgeted, let alone an estimated $100 million worth of Hollywood film before. So you can understand why he's still a little shy of his newfound fame. A lot of people are asking me how I'm feeling about all the retention and responsibility of playing this part and uh, I, I sort of am slowly getting used to it but um, but certainly did not feel ready for it. At the moment the cast and crew are doing the promotional rounds taking in Japan on a whirlwind tour to launch the film. Director Andrew Adamson joined Ben in Tokyo along with two of the four Pevensey children and Andrew was extremely pleased to be involved once more in the magical movie franchise. It's always a pleasure for me to go back to Narnia. I visited Narnia the first time in my imagination when I was about eight years old and it's kind of existed in my head ever since then and these films have given me the huge privilege of being able to take the Narnia from my mind and give it to the rest of the world to enjoy. But before you get too involved in this film's plot, the follow-up is already in the pipeline. The third instalment is The Voyage of the Dawn Treader and Georgie, who plays Lucy in the movies, is excited about getting the cameras rolling on Narnia once more. It's actually my favourite book in the Narnia series so it'll be really good to be able to film it. Um, I'm also looking forward to working more closely with Ben and uh, of course with Skander and um, a new addition to the cast, Eustace, whoever he may be. Um, I'm just really looking forward to everything really. Yes, Prince Caspian has proved to be stronger than Iron Man in the States, taking close to 30 million last weekend to bump the comic crusader off the top spot. And the movie makers are confident that just as many of us will want to escape to the land of Aslan when the film opens on this side of the pond.